sunrise in the summer morning. All right, hey, hey, it's Meg here. So I just got done servicing my Manitou Dorado forks. All right, it's more specifically a Manitou Dorado Expert. All right, the one the, with the air fork, the one the, the middle of the road one. All right, um, and so I made a tool kit. All right, I, I put together a tool kit so I could do this uh, service, and it worked pretty good. I used pretty much all of it. All right, so I'm gonna go over the tools that I bought, and then I will have. Um, in the description of the video, I will have all the tools, you know, where I bought them from and everything. Uh, I pretty much bought everything on Amazon, okay? And then, uh, and then, yeah, then you could put a toolkit yourself, together yourself, if you want to service your own forks. Um, I like doing things by myself because I'm poor, okay? I don't have money to freaking pay anybody to work on my bike, man. I, I don't know how much it costs to service a fork. Probably a lot. This just even just the O-rings and the seals and stuff are expensive for this, for this uh, um, fork. But it's it's remarkably, um, I just did it, and it's actually not that difficult, all right? It's it's about the same as like a motorcycle fork. In fact, it's probably even easier and maybe less messier than a, a motorcycle fork is what I want to tell you, okay? Um, anyway, let's go take a look at the stuff that I put together in the toolkit, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video, okay? So um, I know uh, a lot of people have been looking for Dorado, uh, Manitou Dorado videos, all right? Because the new Dorados came out, and there's not a whole lot of videos about those forks okay so that's why i'm trying to you know as i do stuff to my fork you know do service and stuff to it um I, i'm making these videos to help you know the community out <laughs> all right uh, the dorado fork is a uh, awesome fork all right it's way better than what i came from <laughs> so i'll tell you that now all right all right let's go check it out okay wham there it is so this is uh this is the stuff that i used to for uh service the fork um i didn't use it all because i didn't I did all I did was like an oil change I did a very light service okay maybe next time I'll do the full service where I change the o-rings and the dust seals and stuff I know I should have changed at least the dust seals that might my, my, my bite Hades may go back in the butt right <laughs> when my fork seals start leaking okay um, but the Dor Dorado fork doesn't really have a, a an oil seal as I say I think the dust seal it's the dust seal is like a it's a combination of a dust seal and a fork seal at the same time, all right? It's not like a motorcycle where they're separate, okay? Anyway, um, so these are the two uh, lubricants that I used, all right? Uh, oils that you use in the fork. Um, it's a Motorex PowerScent 4T. I shot a video about this, all right? It's much, much cheaper if you buy it in a uh, one liter bottle like this, okay? Um, I bought this. When did I buy this? I think I bought this on... Uh, um, I didn't buy this on Amazon. I bought this at my local motorcycle store, Cycle Gear, okay? Um, if you don't have one of those around you or you don't know where they are, you can get it on Amazon, all right? And it's much cheaper than buying this stuff, okay? And I mentioned it in a separate video, all right? So this is Manitou Semi Bath Oil. It's the same stuff, guys, all right? Uh, except you you pay uh, a lot more for a lot less, all right? You pay about the same for a lot less is what I want to say. You can probably service like 10 forks with this, okay? <laughs> um, and then the other lubricant you're going to need is Max, uh, not Maxima. It, it, it could be any fork oil, guys. Um, but I ha I'm using a Maxima 5-weight fork oil. And um, you can probably get this on Amazon, but I think I got this at Cycle Gear also, okay? It's, it's, it's motorcycle fork oil, guys. Uh, I think any, any oil you use is fine as long as it's for forks okay not shocks not shock absorbers suspension fluid it should be fork oil all right i should say it's for fork and it's anti-foaming that's the important part you don't want it to foam up all right so i'm using a maxima fork oil is what this is all right there's other brands out there man i can't think of one right now <laughs> i can't think of any right now sorry okay so the other lubricant that you will need is Slick oleum grease, all right. They mention it many, many times in the Hayes Performance uh, service videos, all right. Um, I bought a tube like this, all right. You can buy, there also is a Manitou branded um, 
little it's a little squeeze tube all right it's like it's way smaller than this i bought the big tube all right of slick oleum grease all right it's basically a grease for o-rings and stuff so you know when you when you're putting stuff in it doesn't damage the o-rings all right so i got that on amazon all right so this is that's all the lubricants you're going to need okay um so and then you need stuff to measure the lubricants all right guys so i did a lot of shopping at daiso all right my local dollar store all right um yeah let's talk about this first all right so this is a uh, bottom bracket socket all right um, this is what you use to um take the top caps off of the uh dorado forks all right they don't use a freaking normal socket guys <laughs> like like all the other forks right um, they have to use a special socket, right? So this is the one. I think it's an 18 or a 16 point or something. Um, and that you put it on top of the top cap and then you you loosen it with this, all right? You're going to use this many times, all right? So this is it's very important to have this tool or, or else you won't even be able to, to get the fork open, okay? So make sure you have this, <laughs> okay? Uh, I will put a link where I bought that on Amazon, all right? Okay, um, so... Since I mentioned that tool, I'm going to mention whoosh, this tool, all right? Tecton quarter inch uh, torque wrench, all right? You're going to, you need a torque wrench, guys. <laughs> if you're working on your bike, you got to have a torque wrench, all right? And so this is the torque wrench that I use, all right? I like a wrench because it's kind of more versatile. You can use it for more things, all right? Um, and you can set the, the um, adjustments here. It's in inch pounds and Newton meters on both sides, okay? Very nice, and then um, it's good to have a five millimeter um, Allen head socket. Okay, I got this at Harbor Freight. I got this on Amazon. Okay, and this one has a little quarter inch to uh, three eighths adapter. Okay, I'll put a link where I got all of this uh, in the description of the video. Okay, but you're definitely gonna need this to torque that. All right, and and just use any regular you know ratchet or something to to loosen it. Use a ratchet. All right, guys, but to tighten it. You gotta use a torque wrench, all right, guys. They they tell you to torque everything, all right. Okay, another tool that you're gonna need is a plastic pick, all right. That um, so when you take the O-rings out or you install the O-rings, you should be using a plastic pick, all right. Well, it makes it easier, all right. You could use your fingernail if it some because that's what I used. <laughs> I use my fingernail, but this helps also. Okay, they specifically told you use a plastic pick, and this is what I um, this is what I used. Okay. Uh, I, it actually comes in a pack with several other picks, all right? Um, they're useful for cleaning guns and stuff. You know, it's good to have plastic picks around, right? I got I got steel ones, but the steel ones will damage your the stuff inside the fork, all right? That's why you need plastic, okay? Okay, uh, I will put a link in where I got that one, all right? Okay, and then and then the dollar store stuff, all right? This is this this box came from a dollar store, all right? I think I think this is one uh, maybe like three dollars or something, right? And then a measuring cup. You're gonna need some kind of measuring cup. I believe, oh, man, I can't remember how many how many uh, milliliters. They say it's in cc's, but it, it says milliliters here. Okay, I think it's 200 milliliters is what you needed. All right, so you gotta get a measuring cup that can do at least 200 milliliters, or at least you know have enough where you can you know add up like you know if you had like a hundred milliliter one then you'd have to pour in two two uh two of those all right but this one goes up to 250 or something okay so this is this worked great all right i use this with the fork oil okay that goes with that and then it helps to have a little kind of cup or something around i, I don't know really not sure what this is it's a molding container for for pudding all right for it's for making pudding guys <laughs> All right, like I said, I got it at Daiso. It's a Japanese dollar store, all right? So, um, so what I use this for is when you need to soak the foam rings, you put the oil in there and you put the foam ring in there, all right? You could just use, I guess you could just use this, all right? But I just use this for the fork oil, okay? I use that, I use this to soak the um, the fork, the, the foam rings, all right, for the seals, okay? And then the last thing, and the last tool that I used, all right, is a pipe. It's a pipette or a syringe, all right, guys. I 
I shit you not, I went back to Daiso to see if they have any of these, and they didn't have any, but I, I bought this at Daiso. As you can see, it's a Japanese, right? It's this product for Daiso Japan. It's called the Pipette. If you have a Daiso near you, you might be able to get one of these. Just ask them, hey, do you guys have a Pipette? I said syringe, and they're like, oh, we didn't have any. We don't have any. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't, all right? Um, I, I will see if I can, if there's a um, place on Amazon um, that you can buy something like this. This is a 20 milliliter one. Um, uh, my suggestion is to get one that can uh, can do 30 milliliters, all right? Because um, we had to inject 35 milliliters into the fork, and this only does 20. So I did 20, and then I did 15, okay? So if, you, if it's not big enough, you're just going to have to squirt extra in there. So I say, all right? Um, but yeah, try to get one that's bigger than 20 milliliters, all right? Um, up to 35, all right? Maybe get, if you can get like a 40 milliliter or 50 milliliter, then yeah, that works pretty good. But this worked pretty good because I I put it inside here and it just, it fits perfectly in there. It fits perfectly and I just sucked it up. I didn't even use the needle. I just left it, I like, I said, why am I, the needle just makes it harder to inject it in there, all right? So I got this at a dollar store, okay? I will see if uh, they sell these on Amazon, right? Okay, and then the last thing is a seal driver, all right? This is a Junior Bike Tools fork seal driver. It's for a 37 millimeter. I didn't bother to check, all right? But it says, it says dim here, diameter 37, so I hope it works. I, I didn't bother to check if it worked, but it was working good because I didn't install the fork seals. Or, I mean, the I didn't install the dust seal, all right? Um, but here's what it looks like, all right? It's like a, it's like a bullet or something, right? So basically, you would put the seal, uh, you, you would just kind of put the seal on top of the fork, then you would stick this, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess you should oil it, all right? Definitely oil it before you put the seal driver in there. And then it, it goes in there like that, and then you just kind of tap it with a little hammer, all right? And then it drives the seal into the, um, into the fork, all right? Makes it really easy, all right? Maybe you can just kind of get in there with your fingers, but hey, I bought the oh, proper... No. I bought the proper tool, all right? So there, there it is. That's a Junior Bike Tools fork seal driver, okay? For 37 millimeter, because you're, uh, the Dorado, the, the new Dorados come with 37 millimeter forks, okay? Okay, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, some other tools uh, are just this kind of common tools that you have in your garage. Um, one of the tools is a, right here, it's a 22 millimeter wrench all right you're gonna need a 22 a 12 and a 13 all right and then whatever you need to take it off of your bike okay but this is this is probably like yeah the oddest tool is like 22 millimeters it's a fairly big wrench okay um oh and then they said you need a crow's foot all right if you have a 22 millimeter crow's foot i'll show you what a crow's foot looks like okay I have a 19 millimeter crow's foot, all right? It's, unfortunately, it's not big enough. If you have a 22 millimeter like this, you can torque the um, the compression rod, okay? Uh, but I didn't have it, so I just snugged it, okay? it's The, the torque was very, very little. So <laughs> I said, like, okay, whatever. Um, okay, and yeah, so that's it. That's the pretty much the kit that I put together. Okay, so uh, this tool is pretty handy to have. This uh, This came with the fork, all right? Um, if you bought your Dorado brand new, it should have came with one of these, all right? This is actually a uh, sag, it's like the, their sag gauge tool, okay? But it also has, on the end here, you can you can wedge this into your, uh, the top crown, all right? And it'll open, it'll it'll spread the the pinch bolts, all right? The pinch, pinch things <laughs> on the crown, all right? Or the, the triple clamp. And um, it'll allow you to pull the um, the fork off more easily, or, or install it more easily. All right. So I, I did actually use this. They did mention this in the in the Hayes video, and I used it. And I was pretty impressed. I was like, whoa, okay, that's that. It has a use, guys. All right. But I let, I leave this in my toolbox because I if I uh, it's also a sag gauge is what it is. There's a little sag meter here. All right, for when you want to tune your forks. Okay. Um, so I keep this in my my racetrack toolbox. Okay, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, also, what you're gonna need is a drip pan of some sort, all right? That, that's what I want to use for for doing on cars and stuff. And then a lot, a lot of these paper towels, all right? Because it's messy, dude. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I hate working with uh, suspension, man. Okay, and then yeah, all of this just kind of goes in here, all right? I've cleaned it already. I put the little pudding tray here. 
this on top. I put the bath oil here. You don't, um, yeah, I use this to squirt in the, in the little cupcake tray, so. And then the slick oleum and the seal. Probably take this, take, take, take it out of the box. And it all fits in there somehow. <laughs> yeah, like that. Something like that, all right. And then the pick, but uh, the pick goes in my toolbox. Uh, I will put the pipe head in there. Yeah, I'll put the pipe head in there. Okay, and it all fits in there nicely, all right. And so that's my, uh, my tool kit. All right, it even has the oil in there, but these are the oils that I used, okay? Um, these are just going to go in my shed with where the rest of my other oils is. So. Okay, thanks for watching. That's uh, So that's Hades Omega's toolkit for servicing Manitou Dorado forks, all right? Um, yeah, I hope this was uh, educational. I will have a link to where you can buy all of these in the description of the video, all right? And and then I'll have some links to some other Dorado stuff at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hades Miguel, I hope that was educational. Hope you learned something and it was entertaining. Thanks for watching. Hades Miguel.